We invite them to come out. We invite them to come down. They will come and they will walk among you. This place is pretty haunted, huh? Yep. I've done 750 investigations in my lifetime. And We're here to visit you. Stacy Jones investigates the existence of something. I was wondering if it's possible that you can come up and talk to the red lights that's in my hand. She's believed in since she was six years old. We may not be able to hear you right now, but we'll be able to hear you later on when I play this device back. My mom had her personal experience. Her father had died when she was on summer vacation in the third grade, and on the first day of fourth grade, she went into school and she put her head down on the desk and she looked up and her father was standing there. And she kind of looked around and put her head back down and looked back up and he was still standing there. Searching for answers by 12, she had read 500 books about the paranormal. And never in a million years would I have said that I would even be doing this and making any kind of a living off of it. She's a cop turned paranormal investigator. I'm the founder of Central New York Ghost Hunters, and we are the largest and the oldest uh, paranormal investigating team in New York State. Sharing her experience with thousands. You know, we are here with the amazing, the incredible, the ever luscious Stacey Jones. You alright? Yeah. What's the matter? What are you feeling right now? That pit in my stomach, you know, like you're going to fall off a building, anxiety, yeah. Like you can't really call it science because it's not science. You know, this is far from science because there's, there's, you know, you have to have a scientific model to be able to prove this exists. But it doesn't mean that it doesn't exist. We went with Stacy Jones and her team on an investigation in this building in Casanova after the owner reported a strange occurrence. It's one of the oldest in the town, dating back to the 1800s. 1827, yeah. Wow. Previously a hardware store, it became a restaurant in 1946. After a walkthrough in the daylight, Stacy and her team... I raise a hand who's getting possessed tonight. Oh, ...wait okay. for the sun to go down before they start their work. They're tearing out the floors. They're tearing out the walls. They're tearing out the floors. They set up equipment to capture sound. Do they have people here? Me. Changes in light. Do you remember him? And to track movement not detected mm -hmm. by our normal scope of sensory receptors. Taking the observer position helps us release our need to control everything. Observation is probably the greatest thing that we as humans can do. This idea of seeing a ghost just transcends every culture, every religion. It, it, there's got to be something to it. For Stacy. It's not about whether people believe. Do you need help from us? It's about whether or not someone can offer a better explanation. We thank you for your time. Goodbye. Emily Trinikowski, NCC News.